So we're continuing writing the equations of lines, but we're going to add some conditions with it. We're going to talk about writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's review slope relationships of parallel lines. First of all, we know parallel lines do not intersect, and so they are tilted the same amount, so therefore parallel lines have the same slope. So I wrote two examples of two equations that would be parallel if we went to graph them. They both had the same slope. All right, remember perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. So if you think about if they're intersecting, we know that they're going the opposite directions. But as we did when we graphed these, perpendicular lines not only are opposites, but they are also reciprocals of each other. So for example, y equals one third x plus seven. The slope of that line is one third. So a line that would be perpendicular to that line would have an opposite slope. So here's the positive. So it would be negative. And then the reciprocal of one third is negative three. And then just a quick reminder, what do we need to write the equation of a line? We know we need slope and a point. What are our different categories we could have? One, if we have slope and y-intercept, easiest situation to have. Secondly, we have our special cases, our horizontal and vertical lines. Thirdly, we have slope and a point that's not a y-intercept, and that's where we use point-slope form. So remember, that's the difference in y's equals slope times the difference in x's. All right, so let's go through example one. Write the linear equation in slope-intercept form given this condition. We want it to be parallel to y equals 4x minus 3 and go through the point negative or 2, negative 3. All right, so if I want it to be parallel to this line, that means we have to have the same slope. So the slope of that line is 4, so the slope that we need is 4. What do we need to write the equation of a line, slope, and a point? Okay, this isn't the y-intercept, so we have to use point-slope form. So using my point-slope form, y minus a negative 3, the y-coordinate, so it's y plus 3, equals my slope, which is 4, times x minus 2, that's the x-coordinate. Distribute, get y by itself, and we have y equals 4x minus 11. Now, I graphed these just to prove to you. Here's my original equation, 0, negative 3, slope of 4. Here's the equation of the line that I found. Uh, y-intercept is 0, negative 11, up 4, right 1. They are parallel. All right, now let's go to example 2. Now we're writing an equation of a line that's perpendicular to that same line, but going through the point negative 8, 7. Okay, so first of all, i got to identify the slope of the given line, and that slope is 4. So I need, though, a line that's going to be perpendicular. So if the slope is 4, the slope that I need would have to be the opposite reciprocal, which is negative 1 fourth. Okay, remember that's the symbol for perpendicular. All right, so I've got slope. I have a point. It's going through negative 8, 7. So I'm going to use point slope form. So I have y minus 7 equals negative one-fourth times x plus eight. My x minus the negative eight is eight, y minus seven. Now, at this point, I have two options. I could clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by four, or if I look, when I distribute this, this is gonna reduce nicely. So that's why I always told you, told you, you have two options. You can clear your fraction, or if you look to distribute and it's gonna clear nicely, or it's going to, um, Reduce, you may not need to, you can just distribute. So if I distribute a negative one fourth, I have negative one fourth x. Negative one fourth times eight is in the, like saying eight divided by four is two. Negative times a positive is a negative. Now I'm going to add seven. So the equation of my perpendicular line is y equals one fourth x plus five. I went ahead and graphed this just to show you how they do end up being perpendicular. So my first equation is in purple, y-intercept of 0, negative 3, slope of 4, up 4, right 1. Equation of the line that I found has a y-intercept of 0, 5, slope of negative 1, 4, so down 1, right 4. And we can see they are perpendicular. Okay, let's take a look at example 3. I want an equation of a line that's parallel to that line and goes through the point 10, negative 4. First of all, this is standard form, which looks great, but it doesn't help me find the slope. So I need to find the slope of this line. So I'm going to subtract 2x and then divide by negative 3. 
So that gives me the slope is, or the equation is y equals 2 thirds x minus 7 thirds. So the slope of this line is 2 thirds. So I need to write an equation of the line that's parallel to this. Well, parallel means they have the same slope. So I'm using slope of two, the slope's 2 thirds, and it goes to the point 10, negative 4. So I have y plus 4 equals 2 thirds times x minus 10. Now, this would, if I distribute, this isn't going to turn out nicely. I'm going to get a bunch of fractions. So this is where I would encourage you to clear your fraction. What does clearing my fraction mean? It means I need to get rid of that 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So if I multiply both sides by 3, these 3's reduce. So now I've got to distribute all the way, not just 3y plus 4, 3y plus 5 equals my 3's are gone, which is fantastic. So I don't have a fraction, and I distribute my 2, so I have 2x minus 20. Now I need to get y by itself because I said to put this in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to subtract 12. So I have 3y equals 2x minus 32. I'm going to divide by 3, and I have y equals 2 thirds x minus 32 thirds. So these two lines would be parallel if we graph them, which I didn't graph. I, um, I just did that in the first couple of examples. Okay. So in example four, I'm asking you to write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this one and goes to the point negative four, five. Well, this is the same equation that was in the um, previous example. So I know the slope of this is two thirds. So if I want this to be perpendicular, remember they have to go opposite directions. So they're opposites, but they're also reciprocal. So what is, if this is positive, this has to be negative, reciprocal, so this has to be negative three halves. Um, so here we go. I've got slope. I have a point, point slope form. So y minus 5, 5 is the y coordinate, equals slope, which is negative 3 halves, times x minus a negative 4, which is x plus 4. All right. Now, I, we could get some clearing here, or it wouldn't be bad to reduce these. But especially if we have a fraction that doesn't have 1 in the numerator, I would clear the fraction. Clearing the fraction means I need to get rid of the 2, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So these 2's reduce, and now I have to distribute. 2y minus 10, not 2y minus 5, equals, distribute a negative, be careful, negative 3x minus 12. Now let's get y by itself, add 10 to both sides, 2y equals negative 3x minus 2, divide by 2, and we have y equals negative 3 halves x minus 1. All right, so example five, parallel, we're writing equations, to y equals seven and goes through the point to negative six. Okay, right away we've been conditioned, we know that this is, a para, this is a horizontal line. Well, what's the only type of line that's parallel to a horizontal line? Another horizontal line. So if I'm writing the equation of a horizontal line, I know it's y equals, and it's y equals every y coordinate that this line will go through. And, whoops, this isn't y equals 2. This should be y equals negative 6. So, sorry, that should be negative 6. All right. So, example 6, I'm asking you to write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals 7. So, same line we're starting with, but now it's perpendicular. So, here's y equals 7. So, a perpendicular line, something that's perpendicular to a horizontal, doesn't that have to be a vertical all right, if we're perpendicular to a horizontal, it has to be a vertical. So that means it's a special case, a vertical line, and it's x equals, well, x equals what? Well, what's the x-coordinate on that point? Negative 1. All right, so a reminder. Parallel lines have the same slope. So if we want to write equations of lines that are parallel, they have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Remember, perpendicular lines intersect to make a right angle. So if I'm writing an equation of a perpendicular line to another, it has to be the opposite reciprocal. All right, so remember then, once you figure that out, what do you need to write an equation of a line? You need slope and point slope form.